So a couple of weeks ago, my wife Portia went to Rwanda. She was there for the groundbreaking ceremony for my campus that we're building for the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund to help protect the mountain gorillas. And it was an incredible experience. And I want to show you more of what happened because uh, she, it was, it's amazing. After 52 years, we are finally about to build a permanent home for gorilla conservation in Rwanda. I have had the privilege of working with the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund for the last 17 years. Rwanda feels like a second home to me, and the people I work with are my family. We did it! Excited, so here's the road. In the Ellen DeGeneres campus, we are creating something for Rwanda that is incredible, it's beautiful, significant, and a sign of our commitment to Rwanda and its people. We are going to see a family called Muhoza. Uh, it's a new family. This family was formed in 2015. From here, like 40 minutes. Is it concerning that I'm tired already? <laughs> <laughs> Three babies are in this family, and two mama are pregnant. I was younger then. Take me back to when I. So they are still taking a breakfast. Mm. This whole thing came about because I thought, what on earth do you give the woman who has everything? So I thought. The best gift that I could give her was a way to connect her past to her future. As a little girl, you know, seeing that brave woman, a scientist, who left her comfortable life to set up a tent in the Rwandan forest to save a species on the brink of extinction was transformative for Ellen. It made her see the world differently, and it made her see her place within it differently. I gave this gift to Ellen because we both love and wanted to protect gorillas. After coming here, however, we fell in love with the country and its people. Uh, this is um, the Bisate Trucker's house. These are the guys who actually do the work. They're here every day constructing gorillas. So this campus isn't for me or for Ellen. It's for the people of Rwanda. It is my hope that the campus will serve as a catalyst to encourage us to dream bigger, to know that we too can make an impact, and that all of us can become trailblazers, just like Ellen and Diane. They're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. I am so proud of this project, and I'm proud of my wife. And uh, I can't wait to get back there. I was so jealous that she went, but I had to work. But Rwanda, I hope you get a chance to go to that country. It, the people are amazing. It's a beautiful experience to witness those gorillas so close up. So um, especially once my campus is built, I hope everybody comes. We'll be right back.